Hi everyone, greeting you from London. My name is Aniko. And my name is Ellie. And this is our new way to interact with you all. So today, um, Ellie and I have been discussing what we would like to share with you. And um, I think it's about comfort zone um, and how we're managing being out of our comfort zones. So I was just gonna share with Ellie one of my stories this morning, um, being pulled way out of my comfort zone. So I was asked to teach something that I don't teach as regularly at the moment. So I'm a teacher and I'm a practitioner at Oracy. So I'm usually very engaged in yoga classes and all of these have been put onto Zoom as Ellie knows and, um, and some people around the world who've been joining the classes. So you've seen me in that context. Just going onto the Zoom was already a, a, a huge leap forward because, you know, I'm not able to contact people and touch, you know, and, and connect with people in quite the same way. So I had that same experience this morning whereby I was asked to teach a ballet class. So in a ballet class, um, you've got to have your own music, um, you know, give certain corrections and show everybody. And I had to do all the exercises countless times. So that, that was different too different to my yoga classes and I was pulled way out of my comfort zone but I'm still here and I'm smiling and I'm happy to be here and to share my story with all of you and with Ellie. Um, so yeah basically some of the things that that I'm doing for myself is basically applying the principles of the yoga classes for those of you who are aware and even from some of the therapies that some of you may have received or you haven't received yet but would you know maybe in future. I'm basically having to apply all these principles much more clearly and in a focused way. So doing a lot of breathing work, keeping my mind very focused in my lower abdomen. So keeping really grounded. And um, yesterday, what really helped me is I, I remembered, I mean, it's not that I don't use them, but some particular essential oils, how important they are. So I went to my cupboard and picked some of those oils out. And I have to say, I felt a huge difference really quickly. I felt it go straight into my bloodstream and, and really just lift me up. Um, so I'd say things like breathing, meditation, for those of you who have a meditation practice, um, we also run some of those courses, which have, you know, everything's been moved online now. Um, breathing, meditation, essential oils have been phenomenal for me. Um, that's been a real help. And I'm sure I could share a lot more, but I know Ellie wants to share some things too. So Ellie, please share with me what you're doing to get out, um, being out of your comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> well, the life arranged everything for me. I didn't have to get myself out. I've been completely plucked out of uh, my routine uh, because I have a family. I became a teacher right now and I have my husband's 24-7 at home, which I uh, realized while well, well, speaking with people, it's not a regular thing. We are not used to having our spouses with, uh, with us 24-7 and just being together becomes rather challenging and uh, the main lesson I've learned and what really helps is communication. It turns out he can't read my mind and so whenever I think that something should be done he doesn't know it until I actually verbally communicate but we're working on the telepathy and another thing that really has taken me out of comfort zone is becoming a teacher. And I've learned a completely new level of appreciation for teachers. They are definitely underpaid and not appreciated enough. Like one day for a teacher a year, it's not enough. It should be at least 300. I mean, uh, especially teaching our own children, which know exactly where our buttons are, can be really, really challenging. And I must say, I've been doing a lot of breathing just to calm down. But the, another technique that really helps me, I go back and I try to remember how was it for me? How was it for me when I was that age? And it really allows me just... to, uh, to go and to understand her better. And we're learning to communicate on her level. She's not where I'm at, so I have to understand where she is and communicate with her, and it really helps to work along. Great, Ellie. Thank you so much. So that's all we wanted to share today, just a, a little bit of um, 
our lives, what we're going through and how we're handling it. And keeping up communication is very important. And this is why we're reaching out um, to in between ourselves whenever we can um, to be able to just share. And, and people have found this, like, especially in the classes, that just to be together in a group context you start to feel like you're, you're part of something. You don't feel so isolated because a lot of people live on their own. Um, you might live on your own as, as we speak to you. And, you know, we need some sense of support to go through these new times. So that's all we're going to share today. Thank you so much for listening, everybody. And we look forward to hearing you and seeing you again soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.